to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. She came here with a raging fever. The moment you pray, the fever disappears. Raging fever. Yes, sir. How do you feel now, madam? I'm okay now. Completely. Yeah. How were you feeling before? When the prayer was going, I feel like something get out from my body. Ah. You you see the things. Listen. Learn this. You hear most of them saying that they feel that something. That means most of these things are spirits. And can I tell you, when a spirit comes, it does not attack only one area. It's just the area that has affected you that you know. That's the reason why when these devils leave, like he's leaving her now, out of her now, the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me tell you what happens. You will see that although she believes only one aspect of her life is being healed, doors will just open like this. Is someone learning now? Yes, please. So, an amazing testimony here. Yes, she says since 2009. 2009. If she eats, she can't keep food down. Every time she eats, she, she has to throw it. She has to throw it up. And right now, she stands here, a living witness, to say that it's all gone, sir. My dear, how long? 2009. Since 2009. Yes. I used to eat, and if I eat, it seems people come out. At times, I would just feel like, let me not waste food. I'll regurgitate it. Even yesterday, it happens to me. I couldn't come here. And at the same time, I had an accident like four years ago. My knee shifted. I received treatment, but the thing couldn't go. Your this, knee shifted? Yes, this okay. morning. And this morning, what happened? This morning, I tried lifting water. <laughs> Automatically, my knee shifted again. And I just took my bed and come. And right now? So when you start the mini spring? I started vomiting, and what I was vomiting was... Oh, vomiting. when I was ministering, you were vomiting? <laughs> it was for me. A very white form. Uh, what has happened to you now? <laughs> now I feel very comfortable, and my knee... Look at me. Is, Where is the knee? Which one was shifted? This knee. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. Jesus heals, and he heals completely. I stretch my hands now and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be perfection for you now. My dear, look at me. Lift the knee. Go ahead. Any pain? Look at this. Look at what is happening to her. Any pain? Completely. Look at this. Look at this. It will never return to you again. And I pray that by reason of this encounter, you will go back and you will eat and never have to throw up again. In the name of Jesus Christ. So yes, please. This, this young man says, far back as 2010. Yes. He was riding his bicycle. Yes. And it was to school and it was like an arrow was shot at him. Yes. And from that time. Till now. He started feeling a pain on this side of his stomach. And what happened to him? He did two ultrasounds, but it was still there. But right now, as he stands here talking... Two ultrasounds? Yes, sir. What has happened now? It's all gone, sir. Completely it's gone. All gone sir. Check it. Listen, remember, remember, when miracles happen like this, it's more than just that a man of God is powerful. I think he was in Gombe. I told them, 
that every miracle comes with two messages from heaven number one i love you that is the letter that god writes on every miracle number two i am still god so every time you celebrate a miracle you are not a miracle is like a tray that is carrying a message from heaven one is a revelation of the love of jesus and the second is a revelation of the power of god the lord brings you perfection in the name of jesus christ yes please this is the boy with the autistic condition this is a boy oh my god look at this how long from three years is when we noticed it when he was three medically you went to the hospital they verified it cannot talk and he has that Stretch your hands towards this uh, wonderful son. Many of you are parents and you know how inconveniencing it can be raising an autistic child. Stretch your hands towards him and ask the Lord to give him a visitation. To bring perfection to this boy that he will grow and live a normal life by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord wipe the tears of the mother and empower her and empower the son that he will become a mighty vessel in the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Apostle, this woman came with her baby sick. This morning as you prayed, the baby received her healing. The baby? What happened to the baby? Her body was very hot. Okay. She has cried. Yes, sir. And right now, no, I stretch my hands and I declare, baby, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. This woman came with a chest pain. The moment you mentioned the condition, the pain disappeared. Hallelujah. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Please, everyone, just obey this instruction. Just lay your hand on your chest. You don't have to stand. Just lay your hand on your chest. I don't know how we are going to do it, but the power of God is coming on some people right now. And I just saw what looked like stones. And I saw fire coming out of it. And the Lord is saying the orchestrations of witchcraft that has sat on the destinies of people is about to give way. I'm about to pray right now. There are many, many, many people whose lives and destinies have been tied down. But the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And even the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray. And inside and outside, as I make this prayer, the power of God is going to begin to come on a few people. Please let me have them. If we can have them, then we continue the continue getting the testimonies. In this auditorium right now, here, the main auditorium, there are two people that the power of God will come on very loud after that loud shout the power of god will begin to rest on people and bring deliverance honestly why god does this thing sometimes i don't know except that these are these are supernatural acts of his mercy i'm stretching my hands the power of god there are two people in this very auditorium now the power of god the spirit of god is resting very mightily upon them and when that engracing comes upon you then he will bring you healing he will bring you deliverance and an end to captivity. Place your hand on your chest now. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only a shoe, two of them, will reign forever. Shabala Kasiata. Kingdom, there'll be no end. There are kings, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones. Only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom, there'll be no end. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, afflicting any destiny under the sound of my voice, once you are seated in the name of Jesus, 
you are representing yourself and you are representing your family i command every devil by the mystery of the blood every legal access that satan has over your body and over your life right now by the fire of the holy ghost i bring you deliverance now i bring you deliver my goodness please help them bring them out i bring you deliverance now 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 i curse those spirits release their destinies outside that fire is falling on you right now in the name of jesus christ bring them out i curse that spirit out of their destinies now release them now by the power of the holy ghost Only Yeshua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only Yeshua will reign forever. Listen. The kind of deliverance that God is bringing is the type that will cause all doors to be opened. All doors to be opened. Somewhere in the middle here, I just saw fire rising. Fire. And in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I declare deliverance now. Bring them out. Those outside, please stand. Those outside, please stand. At the count of three, you are going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, fire will fall outside. And everyone who has been oppressed by every... There are spirits that are at the back of the pain of people. Most of what you call a miracle is just an encounter with the Spirit of God. Are you ready outside? At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And that fire will begin to fall. Bring them outside. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I command every devil. Leave their destinies now. Everything connected to ancestry. By the blood of the eternal covenant. I release you now. For someone your chest. It looks like something is leaving your chest. That devil leaves you now out of their destinies now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen I'm going to mention a case right now and the power of God will come on the people when I begin to mention cases once that case relates to you the anointing of the spirit will come on you the lord is showing me people and families that never finish anything they start no matter what they start they don't seem to be able to finish it something must happen either someone will die and leave the project or money will be lost right now by the fire of the holy ghost any family that are apakatosh kete kete balatos every family that has been a victim of this right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free now be set free now We'll soon continue with our healing testimony but let God just visit people the Lord is showing me someone you had a dream and this is what happened in your dream it's like an animal was chasing you from the time you woke up from that dream your life has not been normal every good thing in your life has left relationships help finances right now wherever you are I stretch my hands the power of God is coming upon you right now 
the power of God is coming upon you right now I decree and declare that devil must let you go now that devil must let you go now hallelujah I want to break the spirit of delay delay is a spirit it's not just a phenomenon and many people are victims of this spirit listen as I pray that prayer the power of God will come upon you there are many of you where you are now that's not where you should be you see where you are in dreams and visions but physically you are not able to step in there in at the count of three everyone inside and outside i want you to shout jesus as you shout that name every devil of delay will leave you please i want you to begin to help people because some of the people will begin to run inside or outside is that grace for speed that is coming as an antidote for delay are you ready now father thank you that you honor your word and bring deliverance to your people one two three shout jesus i command that spirit out of your life now out of your apacotes i break help this woman i break the yoke of delay i break the yoke of delay i break the yoke of delay help that woman please out of her now in the name of jesus Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there are five people I'm seeing according to my vision I'm looking in the realm of the spirit but I'm seeing human beings what I'm seeing their face is covered their faces that means physically see that is a prophetic representation of reproach because when your, when your face is covered it means that favor cannot find expression in your life you may be physical, physically walking and yet not know why certain things are happening. I don't know where they are. Five people I'm seeing according to my vision. Inside and outside I want to pray. Ah, this is very strange. Now you see, Please look up. Let me teach you something before we pray. One of the benefits of being sound in scripture is that it helps you to interpret the things that you hear and see prophetically. God just showed me a vision and many of the people I'm seeing here, I saw them in the realm of the spirit but they no hair. You know how someone shaves almost like my own hair? No hair. And you know that the hair of a woman and the hair of an individual represents your glory and your strength are we together now so i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit no hair so there are many people you see you are wondering why nothing is working in your life it says but thou O lord art a shield for me it says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i want to pray let there be a restoration remember what I taught you about the sent word and the sent anointing that every time the word comes there is the power that backs it lay your hands on your head in one minute and begin to declare I declare a restoration a restoration of glory of strength and virtue outside are you praying the Lord is with you whilst you are praying lay your hands on your head and declare by the spirit Restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Restoration of glory by the word of the Lord. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. In 
the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with a name Asabe? Is there someone with a name Asabe? A S A B E. Is there someone with that name? What's your name? Please, technical, can you help us so that we'll just walk very fast? Just help us with the mics. Asabe. I want to pray for that person because God is visiting that family. My dear, this lady, I'm seeing oil being poured on her head. That lady holding her head in the name of Jesus Christ, reproach and shame lives your life now. Asabe. Asabe is here, sir. Okay, both of them, what he says to one, he says to all. I want to pray. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that demonic thing. Now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, out of her right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, he must let you go. I declare liberty for you. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, and a place was no more found for him in heaven. A place was no more found for him in heaven. Let me pray for all of you who are standing here. Ah, my God. I'm going to pray for you, but there's one of you, eh? Witchcraft. Listen, we are people of scripture but we are dealing with the root cause of many people's problems. Place your hand on your chest. You people here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of death, right now, let them go. Because I'm looking and I'm seeing a coffin. Lord Jesus Christ, anyone who has been appointed unto death, Bearing the name as a bay for them and their family right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on one of you right now. Freedom, I bring you liberty and I command that spirit to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ. Appointed, he says to deliver those appointed unto death. deliver those appointed this is how you just hear obituary that someone has died and you will say no his will is in his word I know the thoughts that I think towards you say the Lord they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end let me rebuke the spirit of death because this death thing is important to deal with it don't let no devil just take your life anyhow it's not that you are afraid of death. You see, you see what I'm saying? You see what is happening right now? Just keep your hands lifted, everybody. Whether it is for you or your family, anyone here that the spirit of death is roaming around your life to see that you will not finish 2022, whether you are inside or outside, right now, that arrow of death, that embargo of death, at the count of three, I command it to live your life. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I command that spirit out of your destiny now. Help them, out of your life now. I rebuke that spirit. Help mama. I rebuke that spirit. For it is written that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. I shall not die, but live and declare. Outside are you praying? I shall not die, but live and declare. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I live and declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me the next prayer I'm going to lead you to you are going to lay your hands on yourself and you are going to declare that between now and the end of April my destiny is moving forward all wise are you ready now lay your hands prophetically and begin to pray go ahead lift your voice and pray by the spirit of the living God I am advancing I am advancing nothing stops me I move from where I am to the place of destiny someone is praying from where I am to the place of destiny in ministry from the place I am to the place of destiny in business in family financially spiritually don't be tired pray outside pray the God of heaven is moving you forward 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus hallelujah now everyone say this after me say in the name of Jesus in this season I receive divine direction I know what to do part time as far as my advancement is concerned no confusion and no delay open your mouth and begin to pray divine direction who to meet what to say where to go to and thou shalt hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way walk ye in it and you will find rest for your soul pray for divine direction pray for divine direction in business divine direction in ministry hallelujah now listen to me please listen very carefully one of the major reasons why people do not advance is that they do not know what direction to take are we together most of you when the devil wants to destroy a person's life he will create confusion around your life he will manipulate your dreams are we together now in one dream you will see yourself in Bauchi in another dream you see yourself in Abuja now you are confused should I be in Bauchi or go to Abuja because he knows that the moment there is direction the number one rule for driving and guessing to your destination aside from knowing how to drive is knowing where to go we are still going to pray this divine direction prayer let me tell you the truth there are many of you sincerely your destiny is not in Bauchi. There are some of you, your destiny is right here. And when the devil wants to destroy you, he will give you visa to America. Just because you think you have traveled, it is dangerous to be out of your place of ordination. Hallelujah. I was in Zaria for 11 years. And the last three years of my stay, the Lord began to speak to me and I was sensing that it was the end of my season there. I struggled with God for three years. Not because I was a rebel. I just wanted to be sure, Lord, are you the one? Let it not be that I'm just going in the flesh, maybe because I'm looking for greener pastures. God had already honored himself. Right from that place, people were coming all over the world. God, I don't want the trouble of going for ministry and being misunderstood. And I pray, let me tell you, anybody who tells you divine direction is cheap does not know anything about destiny. Can I tell you, God directing you on what food to eat is different from God directing you where to go because the destinies of others are tied to your hearing properly. 
and Satan knows this it was the angel that quickly told Joseph and Mary carry this baby take him somewhere and it, they kept him there they would have killed Jesus direction and he kept him there until Herod died then he came again and he said they that seek the life of your child are dead now you can go Jesus knew when he was done with a place and said let us go to the other side for some of you you may be in ministry and God is saying it's time to begin to establish branches but that fear for three years I prayed and said God are you the one I hate being in a position where I'm not in your will because if you don't secure God's backing you become a victim I knew it was a destiny altering decision moving to Abuja would be like starting afresh and every I said God are you the one but it will be evil of me to know that God is leading me and yet out of fear not take that step look at the destinies and the lives that would have been in disarray because of one man's disobedience are you ready to pray listen some of you it is in your divine direction that you will find destiny help us some of you it is in your divine direction he said and Isaac sowed in that land everybody was running away and he said Isaac if you go out of this place you have left your prosperity father what is the next level in my life where is the next place that you are allocating for me open my eyes to see and grant me the grace to obey lift your voice and pray open my eyes to see open my ears to hear please pray this is a very important prayer divine direction i know i'm ending a season in my life lord grant me grace hallelujah please look at me look at me divine positioning is very important it was through divine positioning that Ruth met Boaz is that true Naomi gave her a counsel it was through divine positioning help this woman you can imagine an elderly woman like this ah, but the devil is wicked Mama, I bring you deliverance by the power of God. And I command this devil that has harassed your life. Maybe her children are here. In the name of Jesus, be completely healed now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. One of the ways that Satan puts us in bondage is to create a problem that will force you to go and meet the devil for an answer. I shared a scripture with them in Gombe that I want to bring out here. Genesis 42, verse 1 and 2. Please be patient, we're almost done. Give it to us, please. Genesis 42, from verse 1 and 2. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn, where? The problem is not corn. The problem is the location. There was corn, but where the corn was, was Egypt. The Bible says, and Jacob told his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2, read it if you are a Christian. And he said, behold, I have heard that there is corn. Where? In Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. Listen, I want to pray over the issue of supplies and resources in your life. Can I tell you, there is only one reason why God's covenant people will go to Egypt. Hunger. Hunger can take a prophet and his children to the place of bondage. How do you think they became slaves in Egypt? When the devil sees your integrity in ministry, when the devil sees your integrity as an individual, he will cause hunger where you are and make sure that the only place that there is food is the place where God says you should not go to. 
and if you don't have an alternative system of supply hunger will always take the sons of the prophet to Egypt I know you don't want to do the business you know it's an ungodly business but when hunger comes the day your wife looks at you and says my husband don't let us die like this you wouldn't know when you will get into the drug business remember you vowed that I, I won't be involved in this I have heard that there is corn in Egypt one of the ways that Satan makes God's people slaves is to make sure there is hunger everywhere and then there is corn only in Egypt the sons of the prophets went to Egypt in search for corn they enjoyed abundance for a few seasons and became slaves there for 430 years all in search for corn the foundation of the journey that ended up in slavery was the search for corn hunger is a serious issue are you ready to pray father open me up to a way of escape financially by your favor so that i will not have to go down to egypt in search for corn please open your mouth and pray compromise is inevitable when there is hunger compromise is inevitable when there is hunger father send the raven that will bring me bread at brook charity send the raven that makes for my supplies in the name of jesus christ can i tell you many of our loved ones started well is this hunger that took them to egypt in 2015 they told you there is one small charm it's not very complicated they will just give you and you say god forbid but now that the pandemic has come and hunger is biting hard you are considering going back to say you know what just give me whatever it is let it work can i tell you a desperate person is usually a victim Has God help somebody that you will go forward the last prayer you are going to pray and then I will turn for sake of time and lay my hands over our prayer request the last prayer listen carefully you are going to pray for the gift of men I, I wish I had time to teach you the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers as far as your destiny is concerned but write this down if you can or memorize it all blessings come from God through men to men nothing comes directly from God to man including Jesus he didn't come from God to a man he came from God through a human vessel to men all blessings every testimony in your life that will ever manifest will come from God through men to men that means if God says yes and a man says no your yes will remain in the realm of the spirit God must say yes and a willing vessel also say yes for yes to manifest the spirit and the bride say come if the spirit says come there must be a bride also to echo come the spirit says be lifted there must be a bride on earth who says be lifted are we together for many of you god has said yes already but the helpers of your destiny are not there to say yes to god said yes to your job since 2018 but the destiny helper who will stand in partnership with God 
to say yes has not been there please listen to me there is no destiny helper who comes on their own they are called by prophecy when Jesus Christ was on his way to Golgotha your Jesus he got to a point where because of the beatings he had been bleeding had no strength to carry the cross your Bible says he collapsed with the cross there and I hope you know that if Jesus died on the ground he could not be a cause for us because the condition for him to be a cause is that he hangs on a tree not on a ground Jesus was weak but he needed to die in Golgotha and suddenly a destiny helper came called Simon of Cyrene and helped him carry that cross and that was how he arrived there even your Jesus needed a destiny helper to lift him there otherwise salvation when the dead body of Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross there no prayer warrior could bring it down it took another destiny helper with influence and access called Joseph of Arimathea to use his influence with government to bring down the body of your Jesus and so that he will be buried in a virgin tomb otherwise he would have remained on the cross you will not be able to say oh death where is your sting because you he would not even have gone to the grave can I tell you this please listen carefully destiny helpers are the midwives between prophecy and manifestation a destiny helper is an individual or groups of individuals anointed ordained and commissioned by God to hold your hands and help you scale through to the next level of your life no matter how anointed you are you will need the ministry of destiny helpers in one minute let me look for my message on destiny helpers but let me do a one minute summary of the four kinds of destiny helpers you need in your life if you will ever rise and move to a notable position number one you need divine connectors according to second kings chapter five divine connectors do not have the power to help you but they know who can help you the little slave girl the bible talks about naman a captain of the syrian army he said he was a valiant man but he was leprous he took a little girl a supposed non-entity to recommend him to prophet elisha for his healing can i tell you this divine connectors don't have the power to help you but they know who has the power to help you the key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment because there are times that they will not carry a form that is appealing number two the second group of destiny helpers you need in your life they are called men of influence these are people who their credibility and their endorsement becomes a leverage for you to rise to another another dimension one man's signature can end these many prayers of a job the job is not in heaven it's on earth somewhere somebody can sign and say kindly assist and leave his signature and the person he's sending you to he was the one who lifted him this, these are the wisdom systems that believers don't understand this is the world of men you need men and women of influence people who can use their credibility and their track record to provide a leverage for you the third group of destiny helpers you need they are called gifted men the assignment of gifted men is to bring efficiency to your life and take away wastages and leakages many of you in business have so many people some of them your relatives but they are not gifted and skilled people you need men in the spirit of Bezalel they produce efficiency to whatever you are involved with the greatest corporations in the world they know this and they pay whatever price to source for gifted people are we together David that you talk about in the Bible who later became king you go and read about the Benjamites from where he came from historically 
there were people who were so skilled in using slings it was written historically that they were so good they could divert arrows with slings like you shoot an arrow and he can use a sling to divert it don't you think he just killed Goliath there was skill that was at work there the anointing speaks louder when it comes on a vessel that is gifted with unskillful when the vessel is not gifted you will make the anointing look inefficient You need people of skill. You need people of capacity. Number four, which is very important. The fourth group of destiny helpers you need to rise in life. They are called burden bearers. Can I tell you, this unique group of people, their assignment is not to move you forward. Their assignment is to stop you from going backward. Burden bearers are people who are in your life not for the glitz and the glamour of what you represent. They are the truest group of people in your life. They love you for who you are. They will not only stand with you, they will fall with you. Listen, when Jesus, as he was moving around as a celebrity, the Bible says they told him when they ate bread, remember, you will be king over us. He had to run away. A few months later, the same people looked at him and said, crucify him. Jesus was watching the people who ate his bread. They said, yes, we are the ones. Crucify him. They even released an arm robber in exchange for Jesus. Don't get carried away that because a crowd is clapping for you, they love you. They only love themselves through you. No matter who you are in life, a time will come when you will be headed for that cross and at that time when Jesus was going to the cross my question is where was Lazarus who he raised from the dead that he could not identify with him in the time of pain where was the woman with the issue of blood where was the centurion where were the people who came at his crusades all of them ran away there was only one person and two people I would say among the many people who were with Jesus John the beloved and Mary his mother that's it can I tell you woe betides a man who does not have a burden bearer to cry with you there are many people today who were managers and directors they kept celebrating the glitz and clamor of psychophants and they ignored the people who truly love them now that all the fame has gone away they are alone you see people in old age and there is nobody who believes in them enough to say we are going to die here can i tell you the truth it is your prayer that number one god makes you a burden bearer to someone and then number two that god brings burden bearers these are the people who you can sleep with both eyes knowing they will die with you there most of the great leaders in the world have died depressing deaths because they spent their lives enjoying celebration. But towards the end of their life, they discovered that everybody was just looking for something. Look at politicians. In the height of their politics, they have everybody saying, um, greeting them. The moment they lose election, at that point, everybody plus their aides say, now that you have lost, it's not my fault. A luta, a luta continua, you say. And you see a lot of people stay in frustration. How about men of God? When God calls you, you see people coming with you. But challenges hit the ministry. And you found out that nobody is left. You need burden bearers. I had to pray that prayer for my own life. Can I tell you the truth? You will be scared of yourself is everybody around you is just looking for what you carry there must be people who love you for who you are that will be our last prayer point you are going to pray and cry for destiny helpers and list these four groups of people divine connectors men and women of influence gifted people and more importantly burden bearers lord i need to move to the other side of my destiny send me this group of people go ahead and pray outside go ahead and pray go ahead and pray send me divine connectors
who will connect me to the men and the women that can help me send me men and women of influence whose credibility will provide a leverage for me in life send me gifted people oh God finally send me burden bearers that when I cry let someone be there to cry with me when I rejoice let someone be there to rejoice with me in the name of Jesus I declare over you that as you have prayed some of you beginning from today the Sun will not go down until this group of people begin to find you Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 please rise up on your feet if you can Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 the Bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known don't assume that God knows it let your request be made known now please look at me carefully this is the most accurate representation of your desires no matter how I prophesy I see in parts no matter how I intend to bless you there is a limit to what God can show me but you are the one who wrote this by yourself it is the most it is the most focal representation of your desire even your most desperate desire the Bible says on to him that answers prayer shall all flesh come I want you to stretch your hands to the altar here and in one minute begin to pray those outside stretch your hands to your screen and now you begin to pray I'm going to bow my knees prophetically and I'm going to agree with you you don't have to kneel you just stand and pray I will do the kneeling this is how you will know God visited you stretch your hands unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come stretch your hands and declare Lord you are answering my prayers and giving me rest round about you are answering my prayers and giving me rest round about you are answering my prayers and giving me rest round about 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 in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray and I want you to agree with me with a resounding amen father in the name of Jesus Christ I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I bring before you the petitions the tears the requests the pain the points of concerns of your people I'm kneeling on their requests these are the reasons why they have cried for some these are the reasons why they have been starved of sleep for some this is the reason why their homes are almost tearing apart for some this is the reason why they have not found joy all through this year oh God I pray in the name of Jesus the son of the living God answer every one of these requests answer every one of these requests in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent who must partner with the Holy Spirit to allow for answers of this prayer we command their ministries right now in the name of Jesus and every wicked spirit responsible for this pain and these tragedies here written and represented I decree in the name of Jesus 
their hands and their influences are taken out of this request by the power of prophecy I declare unto you that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today financial Egyptians marital Egyptians health Egyptians you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be in Jesus name I pray please lift your hands and let me speak prophetic words over you as we wrap up in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God every door that has been closed over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak over those doors be open now be open now everything that has left your life that should not have gone by the power of prophecy between now and the end of April I command them to return back to you in the name of Jesus Christ he said why seek ye the living among the dead everywhere you have been searching wrongly may my God redirect you to the right place let me pray for those trusting God for jobs in the parable that Jesus gave there were others who were sitting idle and he told them why sit ye idle and they said no man employ us and he said they should go to the vineyard when the master speaks there must be space for you I decree and declare all those trusting God for jobs between now and the next three months may the Lord give you supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayer points the kind of honor that you have never seen in your life I call upon the God of my covenant may that man to rest upon your life by this grace for honor let shame and reproach be driven far from your life finally I pray for you according to Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the favor that you need to excel in life may that favor rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ shortly I'm going to be leaving but the testimonies that will erupt from this time you will keep testifying till the remaining part of this year in the name of Jesus Christ the final prayer I'll pray for you is over your spiritual life we cannot end this meeting without speaking over your spiritual life I did speak yesterday but let me speak again let me encourage you to cultivate a fire and a passion for the things of God your prayer life must be up and doing your word study life must be up and doing your passion for the house of God must be up and doing are we together now separate yourself from wrong relationships that will not help you to grow spiritually I declare fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh grace to study the word like never before may your love for Jesus multiply more and more may you have results in your Christian life I cultivate passion for the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ and for the leadership and membership of house on the rock may the hand of God rest upon you you will go from glory to glory Bouchy State will keep going from glory to glory may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus thank you for receiving me may the Lord bless you in Jesus name I pray dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salman 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye